Hello and welcome to BeamObject.com. My name is Matthew Jackson and today I am presenting a number of objects from Tata Steel. I'm currently in the BeamObject app and I'm currently working in Revit 2015. So we're going to have a look at CalZip and Comfloor today. Both are Revit system families. So we're going to have a look at Comfloor first. So the Comfloor product pages are arranged in the different profiles which you can see here. And we've got the standard descriptions, links, related information, classifications and the region in which these products are available. If I click to the download, these objects are available in Revit 2015 and beyond, and you are able to download the complete Comfloor library. This is an RVT file, so it will open a now an instance of Revit. So now I've opened my file, and I can click on the floor, and now you can see I have a number of different types here on the left-hand side. Quite simply, I select the one I would like to have, so let's, have, let's take the Comfloor 100, as that's what I was on. Click there, that's when I change, and now I copy this into my project. So now if I go back into my Tata video, I can now paste this in. Just place it anywhere you like. Delete it, and I can click on here, and I can now change the floor. Here we go, Tata still. And this is now the 100. So click on here, and I've got lots of information about this floor. Um, and I've also got some Kobe parameters in here as well. So scroll back up, and if I go into the structure, you can see here we've got some galvanized information here. So it tells us the information um, about the material. So quite simple as that. If I now go back into the application, if I go back to browse, Now let's have a look at CalZip. So if I just type CalZip into the search, here I have a number of CalZip objects. So let's have a look at the acoustic roof system, for example. So again, some really good pictures um, on the build up and structure of how this is, uh, in, of course, in, in real life. Um, and some examples of how this roof has been used. Again, if I click download, I download the complete library. And this again will open another instance of Revit as it's an RVT. And here I have the roof. So again, if I click on the roof, I've got a number of, again, of different types again. Uh, and it was the acoustic roof system that I would like. So let's click on this one again, copy that, go back into my project file. Let's paste this into position. Delete it. And now I can select the roof here and now change this to my CalZip roof. Again, go into edit type and I'll see information. And again, lots of information here. And again, some nice Kobe parameters already installed. Again, go to the structure and I've got some really good information here on the insulation um, and all the different layers that build this roof up. So fantastic data there. So make sure you download these, these objects, have a look on bimobject.com, make sure you're using our app, any questions, please let us know, and have a good day.